Hey, howdy everyone, Mossity here, back in action for more Nirvana Initiative uh, Investigation Attraction. That's right, we're going to Braham World Cuisine, February 13th, Wednesday. We need to figure out what people know and what how they know it. Mommy, what are you doing? So what are you here for today, Vizuki? Oh, I wanted to talk to Mame. We're kind of busy right now, so can you make it quick? Oh, I'm not here for you, Gen. I meant a Mame is busy. Oh, he is protective. Mommy, are you mad about something? No, not at all. You seem a little mad. As you can see, I'm all smiles as usual. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got on his bad side because you're messing with Mame. So, Mame, can we talk for a little bit? Oh, um... Yeah. Oh, what we got here? What ocean current do you likey? Hero show uh, current, whatnot. The famous current near Japani. I like it too. -y. Yeah, I kind of figured. Seems like it's a good current, you know? Just, just, it's just out there. A table. A kitchen. Oh, it didn't say the alcohol. A liquor bottle. A picture of Gane Ganesh. You are not Ganesh. Ganesh is full of love. The freezer door. What else? Large pot. Big stock pot. Okay. There are posters and flyers stuck on the wall. Whatever that is. The restaurant door. A house plant. The menu. Ooh, fancy. A round stool. It's a glass of oolong tea in it. Yeah, it looks like that's all we really have there, so... Hey, Genny. He seems a little mean today. I guess you can't really tell with his mask on. Like I said, fine. I'm just focusing on work, that's all. He's, he's mad. He's a mad guinea. Okay, how nice then. Uh, I've heard about some group like that, yeah. But I don't really know anything about it. About Horridori oh, you Institute. You asked me that like you were asking for a glass of water. That facility. It's a really touchy subject for me. It's not something I want to casually discuss here. If you really want to know, at least wait until after work. Okay. What is that? I've never even heard of it. Okay, he's preparing food. Okay then, so that was really nothing. Alright, Amame, how are you? Amame doesn't seem to be doing well. She constantly seems like she's not doing well. About nice. Are you not feeling yeah, well? Yeah, I haven't really been doing well recently. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um... About Horridori? Horridori Institute? that i'm not familiar uh about nice i know the name i saw it on some occult website but i don't know anything more than that about the initiative I'm sorry but like i said before i don't really know any of the details i just looked it up online hmm. mizuki take a look at this Mame. Not just her. Jen as well. What do you think? They are both hiding something. Guess they leave us no choice. Let's have a look. Yes. What if they got into a fight? What if that is it? Gosh. Sorry, Kenny. I shouldn't have told you. It's okay, Amame. Oh? I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. Oh? Interesting. Amame must have told Gen something very important. Perhaps a secret. A super secret. A super special ultra mega chocolate covered secret. Hold on. Charging between link sinks. 
Can't we use the backup? You mean like I did for Kizuna and Lian? Those were special circumstances. Come on, just do it. Ah, <sighs> fine. But I did warn you. <clears throat> <sighs> what do I do? I have to obey. Obey? I... I... Help me, Dad. Dad? Watching from heaven, right? Heaven. So please. See, this is what makes me think that... She also mentioned her father. This is what makes me think that the father is Shoma's dad. And Shoma and Boss were a couple, and then they split up, and she was adopted by Boss. Because we know that Shoma has a sister. And the sister went with the mom, right? It would make sense, right? 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 Watching from heaven. Right. About your Faja. Again. Um, Mame, this might be a touchy subject, but your dad, is he deceased? Yes. Six years ago. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that lines. So that is the situation. Yeah. The two of them are hiding something important. Indeed. Oh, by the way, this is all your fault. Oh. Huh? I am out of battery. Oh no! Hey, wait! Iba! Iba! Iba went out of battery. Oh, I need to head to work now. Huh? And I need to go shopping. I'm low on ingredients. Wait! Bye! Goodbye. Oh? Well, uh, is is Iva just dead now? Or is she gonna be back on? Well, I guess we got a Kumakora. The Kumakora office! <laughs> Kumakora office, February 13th, Wednesday. Hey, Mizuki, what are you here for? I'm investigating the HB case. I was hoping to get some new information. Ah, uh, new info, huh? Okay, so it seems like Iva's back. I'm doing an impression of that famous third generation thief jumping into bed. There's a tiger rug on the floor. It's a coffee table. There's an ashtray on the table. do Ray, me. So far, <laughs> I love this gag so much. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. I love how it keeps popping up. Pop a wheelie, baby. There's a piece of paper with some general principles written on it. It says, first, do not get angry when an update is required for playing a game. <sighs> I mean, yes, but no. It's generally sad that games cannot be released in a state where they are just complete, and that is it. Uh, it happens, but it's also rare nowadays. Because first day patches make everything easier for bug catching. And like, honestly, it's kind of like a, a, a good important statement for this, but it's still one of them situations where, 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 um, I really would want to just like have a game where I could play it in its different states, too. Like, if you're gonna upgrade your- update your game, let me play the patch versions that are not there. I would like that very much. Street Fighter, uh, Ultra, um, Arcade Edition, I believe does something to that effect, where basically you could play as different versions of the characters, and oh boy, if you want to see Unfair, try a vanilla Street Fighter 4 
Sagat. He is insanely hard to beat. It is ridiculous. He has so much health. He does so much damage. And it's like, all, her co all his combos are like free. It's ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. And not as bad as Ken Vanilla, because Ken Vanilla could also do effectively the same thing. And he was so widespread that it was just a problem, but uh, you never wanted to face a Zagat player, you feel me? It's a dragon with a golden ball. This month's plans are laid out on the whiteboard. 28th, debate, Tessa's future. I'm glad they got that written out there so they know. They, they know what to do. Uh, seems like there are files on the shelf. Is that like a stain? Hey, Mizuki. Did looking at that lantern give you ideas? <laughs> Any ideas? What is with people in the lanterns? Fear or something? No. Uh, oh. I, I see. Okay. There's a row of lanterns. It's a family altar. The Kumakua crest is on display. Hacking. I am trying, but it may take a while. It's fine, don't worry about it. That, uh, there's a PC on top of the desk. Okay. It's the chairman's desk. This is where the chairman sits. There's a phone on the desk. Please, please. It's a keyboard for the PC. Okay, we're all good there. Wink sink. Hey everyone, let me introduce my beautiful wife. It's Iris Saga. No, oh my God. No, honey. We're married now, so it's Iris Kumakura, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh my God! Look at her tights. I love it. Oh my gosh, speaking of which, I just got tights and I need to see if they fit. If they don't, I have to bring them back. Get proper pairs. I just don't know my size in tights. Because, like, I want to wear it because I want to be a sexy hoe, right? And, like, I've always really dug what Iris is wearing right there. It's really cutesy to me, so ja. Well, that makes sense. Yes, oh my god. Momo's imagination is running wild. Same. He might be going crazy too. I want some information. What were you doing here, Alan? I'm doing. I'm watching Tessa's new video. <laughs> okay. It's MoMA! Well, let's see. I don't know if this is related to the HB case, but... At Iowin, the joint run by Richie Chieda, a long time ago, one of their kids went missing. There's a rumor that Shikara Horadori had something to do with it. You mean he kidnapped the child? I don't know. But I do know that Shikara's been doing shady shit for a while. Went around the country doing DNA examinations of children all that sketchy research he was doing. Maybe he was using the kids as part of his research or something. Maybe combining bodies. Combining bodies? What do you mean by combining bodies? I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? And then you combine the left half of one with the right half of the other? What? Hold on. Why would they do that? I don't know. No way of knowing what's going on inside some nut job's head. Anyway, Chikara was supposed to be doing shit like that. That's definitely related to the HB case. Yeah, maybe. It seems that Chikara really was attempting the experiment Moma described. That would explain the machines in the basement. And why there were two. Damn. Thanks, Mama. I think what you told me might turn out to be a big help. Nah, don't thank me. 
Okay. Instead of thanks, could you bring Tessa with you next time? I'll think about it. <laughs> right. I'm looking forward to it. Like maybe as like a handshake event that he has to pay for. Maybe. Uh, let's go to see. Let's go to see Iris. Maybe she knows something with her wacky occult stuff. I don't know. At the very least, we can see the girl with the big boobs. That always makes me happy. Talon Agency Lemnus Gate, February 13th, Wednesday. Mizuki, kiss me! Oh! What? Kiss me, Mizuki! <laughs> I just realized this. Kiss me, Mizuki is a palindrome. What? No, it isn't. <laughs> hey, didn't think the president herself would show up. Yeah, I'm not here for work today. Investigating the case? Yeah, I'm doing some questioning. Based on Lemnus Gate's schedule, I knew Iris would be here. So I wanted to come talk. <laughs> Kiss me, Mizuki! What? Anemone aliens are attacking? This isn't good. We need a Mr. Bear! Vroom vroom! Hurry! We need to fly to Yosemite National Park! Pow! Pepperoncino! Pepperoncino! Let's pretend we didn't see any of that. Yeah. Why not? This is good. Stop! Do not interact with him. Why not? I recognize him. He is a Kumakura. But there's something abnormal about him. What do you want? You got a problem? No, I was just wondering what you were doing here. Why am I here? Duh, Yomante. Iomante? Hit it in the head and you can hear the sound of civilization. Beg pardon? School bag. Shishamo hell. Hey. Wake up, old man Shamo! Old man Shamo! Old man Shamo! Old man Shamo! Gregory! Gregory! Greco Roman style! Oh, he's crazy. Yeah, what? I told you not to talk to him. From the Kuma Chorus, what is he doing here? Mizuki, look! Ceratocanthus! Yay! Go, Ceratocanthus! <laughs> I will never get tired of Iva's unenthusiastically just uproarious excitement for, um, Bug. It's just, it's very, very cute, and it reminds me of my friend, who I adore so greatly. She's so wonderful. I heard that painting is actually titled A-U-V-A. I wonder if it has anything to do with a -Sex. I don't think it does, my dude. It's, it's just a painting. It's the company logo. It reads Lemnus Gate. This is a reception desk. Right. Here. Sometimes they show Tessa's videos there. Yeah, the most recent one we shot was me splitting watermelon on the beach. I want to see. Is it is it a bit horny of me to think that Splitting watermelon on the beach was her destroying it with her thighs. I think I have a bit too much Kuma brain. It wasn't even of Iris. It was just a picture of a girl splitting watermelon with her thighs. And just like, <sighs> yeah, I want that in my life. I need that. I need a girl strong enough for that. Promotional videos of the talent from the agency are playing. Various magazines are displayed on the magazine rack. Special. Regarding wireworms. Mizuki, can you steal it for me later? I'm the president here. I don't need to steal. Yeah, but steal it. Come on. Makes things cooler. Uh. Slurp, 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 slurp. It's not so, ah. Uh. Those noodles <laughs> are really long. 
<laughs> she make the slurping noise. Tessa, you can sit on me whenever you like. Aw, thank you. Excuse me, do you get what he's saying? I don't think she does. There are high, st uh, high stools around the table. Mizuki, do you know where Ryuki is? Why? Well, I haven't seen him in a while. I did take his advice, though. About what? It's a high table. The door. It seems there's an office on the other side. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh my, my feet are hurty. I'm sorry. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting. The big titty receptionist. Big titty. <laughs> titty. <laughs> Yay. Motherfucker. There are big titties sitting behind the desk. Are you malfunctioning? A receptionist. Okay. today cutest in the whole wide world <laughs> can you raise my salary <laughs> <laughs> she's so fake i love her of course i always give it my hundo percent like when one of those big shop producer guys comes in here i greet them at the desk naked yeah you're fired oh come on bring me on full time i don't think so are you trying to seduce me into going to a Tommy with you? Oh my god. No. <laughs> Why not, Mizuki? You could you could you couldn't like honestly. She's a catch, like really. She's a receptionist with big breasts. How could you say no? It's Iris, our top money maker. She's full of energy as usual. Stupid Ocho with his stupid hair. Huh? Did you want to ask me something? Nope. Not at all. Oh, come on! Can't you ask me something like, why are you here? You're just waiting for Iris, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. Idiot. Get a haircut. <laughs> this is me when I saw him. I hate this hairstyle for him so much. How does Ota just straight up not, not have good hair? He just doesn't. Like, Iris, look, she look fly. I love this for her. She's great. But fuck, dude. Like, what happened to you? I'm not an informant, you know. I know, but you're always on top of gossip and rumors. Well, if that's what you're looking for. You got something? Remember when I told you about the video two days ago? The Nirvana trial, right? And that many people have gone missing after watching the video. Yeah, that. I heard there's something big going down. Something big? Recently, we've been hearing rumors from all over Japan. A bunch of people have started acting really weird. That is accurate. National news stations are beginning to report on this phenomenon. Oh? Well, what do you mean by acting weird? Like people who start dancing for no reason, smash glass windows in stores. Some people have been reported rolling up and down the streets. Or hitting their heads on light poles. Standing in the middle of an intersection for tens of hours. Running into a wall over and over and over again. And also, people jumping. Yeah. Jumping off rooftops. Are you saying this was all caused by the Nirvana trial? Yeah. All those people started acting strangely after watching the video. Hi, but does that video have some kind of mind control effect? No, it does not. After all, you saw the video as well. Good point. And I'm as normal as ever. Hey, about that guy. What's he doing here? I don't know. He was here when I got here. There's something wrong with him. Is he doing hard drugs or something? Shh, he'll hear you!
Oh dear. Is he gonna do something? Oh no, he's coming over. Told you. Eh? You saw the video too? What? The Nirvana trial. I did. Yeah. So you must have went there. Where? Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misaton. Later. Misaton? Oh, glad nothing happened. Yeah. I wonder if he saw the video too. Seems so. So the rumors were true. Watching the video makes you go crazy? Yeah. I am curious about what he said. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misaton. But then again, calling him scatterbrained would be charitable. We probably do not need to put too much stock into what he said. Thinking about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Anyway, Iris and Ota, I'm going to get going. Okay, see ya! Good luck with the investigation! Oh, how sweet. Alright, so now it's just the garden where we have to yell at a man. Good pastime, honestly. Men deserve to be yelled at. Island Garden, February 13th, Wednesday. Where is Leon? Oh, there he is. Hey, Mizuki, something is wrong. Huh? You do not have to worry about it. I can do this on my own. Sorry, Kizzy. I didn't mean to upset you. I'll head home. But if there's anything you need, just call me, okay? I'll fly right over. Are you pitying me? What? On that day six years ago, I became disabled. I used to love dancing, but I can never dance again. You apologized so many times. You said you were sorry you couldn't protect me. That must be why you stay by my side. I have burdened you with that guilt. Am I right, Liam? No, Kizzy, I... Ugh. What are you doing? Putting an end to this. Oh? You're gonna tell them how each other feel? <sighs> Mizuki. Big sis. Okay, well, I guess we could tell them, or we could just look at this stuff. A swing set. Uh, I guess they're, they're all just the same basic things. Building. Like a nurse or something. Okay. Ain't nothing there. Kizzy. So, oh, I uh, made Kizzy upset. She said that I'm only with her because I feel guilty. I told her that's not true, but I guess words aren't enough. Slingin, he seems to be lower in spirits than usual. Kizzy, she must have been through hell. She was only putting up a facade. The signs were there during the wink sink the other day. Those repressed emotions must have finally boiled over. I apologize. I wish you hadn't seen that. Izzy. Mizuki, have you forgotten why we are here? We are here to ask Lian about yesterday. That can wait. I can't just leave these two like this. I want to see them get along. How? Well... It is hard to fix what has been broken. The arrow of time only moves in one direction. 
Hey, that was from Bojack Horseman. Wait, what did you say? The Arrow of Time? That's it! The time capsule from six years ago! If we could dig that up... Yes! Huh? Yuzuki? Go, Mizuki, go! Where are you going? Go, Mizuki, go! Mizuki, go, Mizuki, go! I think it was around here somewhere. Okay. I think it was uh, by the roots of the tree. X-ray. Indeed. Leon, can you go grab a shovel? Well, that was out of nowhere. You're gonna bury a dead body or something? Yeah. No, I'm going to dig something up. A dead body? <laughs> no! The time capsule! Time. You should have just said a dead body. That's he, that's how you know Leon's a real one. He'll just be like, yeah, I'll help you bury a dead body. It's fine. Uh, the shoes are still in good condition. The letters, too. Why don't you read it? Uh, right now? Do you want to bury it for another six years? Uh, okay, then. I... What's wrong? This is kind of embarrassing. Just do it. To Kizzy. I love you, Kizzy. I really, 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 really love you. When I first saw you, I seriously thought an angel descended from heaven. I was thunderstruck. At that moment, I decided to devote my life to you. The glass slippers that I put in the capsule are a symbol of my never-ending love for you. To me, six years in the future. I'll never forgive you if you make Kizzy cry. I'm gonna fly to you and punch your stupid face. Whatever happens, always be by her side. When she's struggling or in pain, support her with everything you got. Even if your feelings aren't reciprocated, make sure she's always smiling. Yay! Make sure you dedicate your life to her happiness. That is my request to you. You're up next, Kizzy. Here. But... but... No buts. Read. I mean, some but. Fine. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Cringe, cringe, cringe. To me, six years from now, how do you truly feel toward him? I still do not know exactly how to feel about him. But no matter how I might feel in the future, the most important thing is to be true to yourself. It is not becoming of me to play games with a man's heart. If you think no, you need to tell him no. It would be better for him. But if you do have feelings for him, I'm sorry, Leon. Sorry? Is that a rejection? No, I meant about earlier. I took out my frustration on you, and I am sorry for that. I should not be placing my anger on people I care about. If it is acceptable to you, if you do not mind that I am the way I am, Leon, will you? Kizzy, it's like I said before, six years have gone by, but my feelings haven't changed. My love is eternally undying. I myself have changed. What do you mean? My feelings have changed over the last six years. Leon, I... I love you. <sighs> it's kind of cringy. You are my Prince Charming. Kizzy? Kizzy? I don't know how to feel about this, honestly, y'all. I don't. <laughs> well, at least he's happy, I guess, right? Mizuki, why are you here anyway? <laughs> oh, right. I asked Leanne if I had overlooked anything from last night. He quickly told me that I hadn't. Why did we even come here? It's fine. We made them happy. 
Sometimes that's the most important. Eh? Time capsule, it's beaten up. It's Leon. He's his usual self. Kizzy is in a good mood. Totally. Thank you, Mizuki. The day started with seeing all those awful things. Kizzy was on the brink of hating me. It could have been the worst day of my life, but now it's become the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, you mean because we were in Horidori Institute past midnight? Hmm? Oh? Yeah, that too. That too? Iba, can I wink sink into Leon? I will not protest, but why? I got a feeling. I think Leon is hiding something. Oh. <laughs> is there two Leons? Is there two Leons? Thank you. It is all thanks to you, Big Sis. But I do not know how Father is going to take this news. That is my only concern. But I am an adult now. I will solve this on my own. Okay. Well, Leon, what you hiding? Show me. Hey, is this for real? Why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock. And see what's inside. Huh? What all that mean? Unknown. Leon must have seen something that shocked him. That must be what he was referring to earlier. Hmm. Leon? What are you up to? I'm gonna get going now. I wish both of you eternal happiness. S stop it, big sis. I'm gonna make Kizzy the happiest girl in the world. No, the whole universe! Leon. <laughs> Mizuki, what do you want to do about Leon? About the wink sink? I mean, it is concerning, but I think we should focus on our investigation. Understood. Let us proceed to the next location. There is none. There is no other location. You're done. Unless. Akume Shrine. Alright then, everybody. Next time we're going to be going to Akume Shrine. To see exactly what's going on in this situation. Until then, though. Sayonara. Bye-bye.